just in my hips alone, five inches. a little different video for my channel but I believe it's gonna help lots of people and my channel is to help people in anything they're going through so let me tell you about myself I've been pretty much overweight all my life I started gaining weight when I was about five years old didn't check my thyroid till I was 14 I have hypothyroidism I have alopecia areata an autoimmune condition I have low iron severely low iron anemic I have major inflammation in my body and numerous other issues. I've always tried to do well, tried things, didn't work, tried supplements. Um, I've had some supplements work and then they would just stop working for me. I was very skeptical about the Optivia program. I didn't have the money for it. I didn't see how it would work out in my benefit to do it and for about two years I just watched people do it and seven months ago my cousin was murdered but the reason why this relates to her is she'd also struggled with weight um, she wasn't as heavy as me but she always struggled with weight and she'd lose it and she'd gain back and she'd lose it and she'd gain back and in the last few years of her life she really took her health seriously she started going to the gym, she started working out, she started eating better. She worked out a lot. She became a refit instructor and did these dance videos and some of them are on YouTube where she was actually on in one and I would do them with her. She came out last summer and we did some at my house. It was just so much fun. And she got the skinniest she'd ever been and the best body she had ever had. And when her life was taken from her, so was her body that she worked so hard for. Now I know she gained a lot more in heaven, but I started really struggling. Um, I started having lots of inflammation from stress. I knew my cousin wouldn't want me to live that way. And I knew that she'd want me to make changes in my life to be better. And God just kept showing me Optavia post on Facebook, to be honest. I have so many friends that coach and are coaching for it. I talked to a few, few different people actually, just asking questions. And finally, I mean, literally, it just would not stop going through my mind. I watched some YouTube videos. And so finally, I just said, you know what? I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I'm, or I'm gonna die. So here's some video clips from my first day of Optivia. All right. So here I am, day one of Octavia, starting my plan. And this morning's fueling is a wild strawberry shake. So I've heard these are really good and taste like a strawberry milkshake. So here we go. Could use some ice, something to cold. I thought I turned on cold water. Um, so it's kind of lukey warm, so probably next time get ice or I need to buy a blender because I don't have one anymore. But it's not bad. All right, let's do this day one. Okay, so something I'm doing for today is um, I packed a gallon size bag with three fuelings for my 10 o'clock, one o'clock, and four o'clock fuelings. I also put a couple extra bars in there so that if I ever get stuck somewhere and I forgot my fuelings, I have some extra. That was a tip that my coach gave me. So I'm ready for the day. I got my 30 ounce stainless steel um, cup and full of water. And I'm almost done drinking my shake. Gonna still get ready for this morning, but I am ready for the day. So I just finished my last feeling of the day. I had a chocolate brownie. I forgot to take a picture of it. I have felt pretty much full all day. I've drank tons of water, well over 100 ounces of water. And my lean and green, I was so full after that. Literally haven't really been hungry all day. If I've gotten hungry, 
it's usually time for my fueling. Today, I actually started my fuelings at seven. By 9.30, I was, um, my stomach started growling. So my coach said, go ahead and take the 10 o'clock fueling at 9.30. So then I went 9.30, then I went 12.30, 3.30, 6.30. after that, I still did the three hours. So at 9.30, I actually ate it a little bit after 9.30 because it was still kind of cooking. But so I just got done eating my last fueling and I just packed up a bag of fuelings for tomorrow. I'm so excited, I feel great. This is day one and I feel awesome. I've had actually really good energy. So I've heard that it, like the first five days you don't have that much energy, you're detoxing more and to have light activity. Personally, I haven't noticed that day one. It could be that I was never eating until three or four o'clock in the afternoon. So I was always tired. So maybe I'm not gonna be tired because I'm actually fueling my body, I don't know. So anyway, I'm excited and I feel great. I feel like I can do this. So day one in the books, let's keep going. And today I'm on day 34. Tomorrow's day 35 and it's been going good. You know, the last couple of weeks have been a struggle. Like I never thought I had a food addiction or anything like that, but the last couple weeks I've realized like if I'm stressed and I'm cooking dinner for the family it's like why can't I just have that piece of pizza you know or there's a yummy breakfast casserole I was making last night and it sounded so it was smelling so good and I just wanted comfort food that's when I realized maybe I do have a food addiction you know why is my body like desiring something food to make me feel better. Does that make sense? And so it's been a real eye-opening journey. And so let me give you some updates. Week two, I was down 10.4 um, pounds. So, or 10 something, it'll be right here. And then week three, 3.6 pounds. And then week four was only 1.4 pounds. And week four, I had a lot of stress going on. So, you know, just things in life, I think, and um, insurance worries and all that kind of stuff. And so I was talking with my coach and she was just like, stress is a big cause. Also, I was staying up late um, and not getting like eight hours of sleep. I was getting six to seven hours of sleep. So I was more tired. And I think rest is a major thing that I need um, and that helps my body. This week's been feeling good. I haven't necessarily felt lighter um, until today. So my week starts on Tuesdays and then I weigh in every Tuesday. So today's Sunday. But today's the first day like I'm feeling light. Like I can take my pants off when they're buttoned and zipped. <laughs> So that's pretty awesome. I do have to say that these fuelings are really good. I got my second box in last week. And one of the new things I got was Parmesan garlic poppers. Um, I've shared this on my Insta story. I did a big old Insta story about all the things in my box. But I love these. Um, I love the barbecue crunchers too. They're like having barbecue chips. So anyway, so I'm down a total of, as of last Tuesday, 15 and a half pounds and 23 and a quarter inches over 23 inches like that's insane and so that really meant a lot to me just in my hips alone five inches so this program has been amazing like i was saying my month stats i weigh in again on this tuesday but i'm going to try to make videos along the way really for me what's been great is for my fuelings to just keep them in a Ziploc baggie. I bring that with me to work. I just, I make sure to set my alarm and drink my water. That's super important. For my lean and green, meal prepping has been awesome, especially for the veggies. I steam, I'll steam a five pound bag of broccoli and I steam like half of it at a time. That usually four fuelings, I think. And I cook a bunch of chicken up. And usually I have that for the majority. I've had chicken and green beans, and I've also made the mini mac salad, which I love. Um, there's been times I've been out of town. And so I've gotten like Chick-fil-A 12 grilled nuggets with the side salad. I've done a protein style burger from In-N-Out. 
uh, with two patties, one piece of cheese, with tomato, ex uh, pickles, extra lettuce, and mustard instead of the sauce. And that can be a lean and green as well. I'm a part of a Facebook group, which has been awesome. I'm not coaching. So I'm not coaching right now. I don't know if I will in the future, maybe. I really wanna focus on me. I have to do this for me right now because if I don't, I won't be around for my kids. If I don't make a change, I'm never gonna make a change. Does that make sense? So my coach has talked to me about coaching and I might, and if I ever do, I'll put that down in the description of this video. But right now I'm just working on me, you know, almost five weeks and I'm working on a lot of healing issues for me. Um, anxiety issues, peace issues gain some peace in my life. So anyways, my pants are starting to fall off today. That was awesome. Hey, so week five um, ended, week six starts today. I weighed in today because today's Tuesday, it's my weigh-in day. So I went ahead and wanted to add this into this segment video. I weighed in, I'm down 3.2 pounds since last week for a total of 18.6 pounds and I'm feeling fantastic. I took a vacation day today and so we're gonna go to the park and go have some fun with my family and so, so excited and so thankful. I hope you stick around to watch some of my Optavia videos. Um, I might do, I think I might do some videos about my feelings, but I will say this, the program works. The program works, I can't say that it doesn't. I feel so good, even when I'm not losing, like all my slow weeks, I still feel good. I don't feel bogged down by all the sugar and the foods. I sleep better. Seriously, I sleep better. I thought that was like, I always, I thought I heard someone say they sleep better and I was like, whatever. I do, I sleep hard as a rock. Um, and where before I was waking up like three, four times during the night, I'd wake up, take me forever to sleep, anxious thoughts, but my brain would just get to racking and it was all the poor stuff in my body and the cortisone and the inflammation just wreaking havoc. So anyways, this video has been long enough. I'll do more later. Thanks for tuning in. And motto of my channel is shine bright, love others, and be kind. We'll see you next time.